welcome to 1.21. Feel the sun on your face, smell the fresh clean air, step out into a brave new world, wait. Welcome to World in Progress, a long-term, building-focused, survival let's play in my original vanilla Minecraft world. We'll sprinkle in adventure and technical Minecraft, of course, this is me we're talking about. But I'm excited to really stretch my building muscles and create a beautiful world in the place where it all started. Yep, that's right, friends. I've been thinking about what I want to do with this world for a while now, and I finally decided to turn it into my long-term let's play. We'll mostly build, but today, of course, we do need to explore at least some of 1.21. It's huge and we definitely won't get to it all today, but we can do our darndest. I want to check a couple of things in this world. First off, we have a cartographer somewhere. Is that, that's not you. There he is, hello. Oh, we haven't traded with you. Oh, okay. Well, we can, we can do that. All right, well, let's talk about my plans for this world as we work on getting this map. Do I have a crafting table around? Oh, past D did not have the greatest organization. It's okay, it's okay, we've learned a lot since then. So because this world is going to be a little bit more building focused now, farms are gonna be a little more behind the scenes. We will definitely do, you know, streaming some farms because we need the infrastructure for sure. Um, to make building in survival the most fun it can be. But the farms will also be kind of the foundations of our world. So I'm planning to build lots of different regions um, around, you know, the functionality of those regions. Hello, sir. Hi. Thank you. I definitely don't intend to get rid of many of the things. That one can go away. That one can go away. But I don't intend to get rid of most of the structures around in this world. But we definitely need to do more like building up at spawn. Bubble, 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 there we go. Woodland and trial explorer. Okay, do I have a compass? I don't think I have a compass. Um, what do you use to make those? They're just redstone iron, right? Good lord, this world is really a mess. We've got our work cut out for us for sure. The crafter is gonna be especially great for that though, and I'm very excited. Oh, I just made eight compasses with my limited resources. <laughs> Good going, D. Uh, everybody is in beds in the wrong places. I remember this. One of the reasons I kind of gave up on this world for a little bit is because, like, I was playing it on my old cruddy laptop, and it was so laggy, and it was so much easier to play on a server. But now we don't have to worry about that. Now I have access to a real nice computer so we can have even decent render distance and everything all right trial explorer map id number 39 interesting all right so that is south let me think of my direction southeast from us so I have, because basically the last time we were in this world was when we were doing a lot of 1.20 exploring. And so I basically trimmed all of the chunks that we just explored um, and kept everything where we have infrastructure here. What was I coming in here for? So I think the first thing we'll stream will probably be an end bust because I need more shulker boxes in order to be able to function. Ah, uh, yeah. I... I'm a lot more confident of a Minecrafter now than I was when I was working on this world, so I think we'll be able to get things up and running really quickly, and it almost feels like starting from scratch, just like, you know, a touch above scratch. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see, we'll see how things go in this world. But today, I do want to work on that spawn area a little bit and use some of the fancy new blocks while we are uh, waiting for things to cook, let's explore some of these paintings. I'm really excited. Standard, classic, ooh, I like it. Oh, I could see some good uses for this one. Oh, I love these colors. Ooh, I like it. It's a little horse painting. I like having another too tall. I think I'm gonna do that one. I don't know, I like this one. There's something about it. And I think that we are armed with everything we need to take this this thing on. So we need to go southeast. Cool. Just had to make sure. Ooh, look, it's starting to 
fill in. This is so close to home. If we kind of center ourselves. Oh no, okay, most of the rooms are between the starting room generates between negative 40 and negative 20. There it is. That's, that's more like it. Now, I do think there should be lights inside. So it's really just like, <gasps> oh, look at the new, new block. Oh, let's see what this advancement says. Step foot in a trial chamber. Do I have a shield or anything to make a shield? I don't have iron. Gosh darn it. Okay, I feel like a shield would be really, really helpful here. All right. It's so pretty. Whoa! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, it's such an odd sound. Hello, slimes. The whispery sounds, though. The reason I got the degree I did in college was because I love sound design. Where is this? I hear someone else. Where? Like, is that everybody from that spawner? Do I get anything else from it? Like, I want to see things from above. Ooh, there's a barrel. Oh, there are a bunch down there. I see, I see. I don't have my wings on, so... Can't forget that. Can't just jump willy-nilly. I don't have a ton of resources in this world. I should take as much as I can. Okay. So... Ooh, oh, that looks ominous. Aha! Ah, hello, friends! Ooh! Oh, these slime are probably... Okay, so these are some of the fancy potions. All right. And I guess they pop out when we've like completely killed or mostly killed everything. This is a swiftness potion. Okay, so not one of the fancy ones. All right, let's carefully head down this ladder. Another swiftness potion, interesting. Okay. You know what? Don't mind if I do. I don't need the axe, though. Axe doesn't need to be a thing. Okay. So, we are in hard mode, by the way. I have updated. Ha! The Ooh, these are the bogged! No, these are strays. Interesting. Yeah, a shield would have been a great idea. Oh, that's the breeze. That's the breeze. There it is. Woo! Oh, does it? <gasps> it pops. It pops things back at you. Oh, so interesting. It pops your projectiles back. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, yeah! Hey, bud! I bet it can knock back the heck out of you, though. Where'd he go? I was really nervous about the breeze, but now it feels like he's just nervous about me. Ooh. What was that? What was that sound? Oh, that was a cool sound. Was that just the steps on like copper? Oh, oh, those are the vaults. Gotcha. Where is this thing? 
Ah, there you are. Hello. Oh, I got it. Woo! I got the... Ah, uh, what do I throw away? We'll throw away the grass. Here we go. All right, now I need to get back up there because there's another breeze. Woo! You're feisty, feisty little bugger. Woo! Oh, very cool. Oh, it just, it just, <gasps> that's a key. Okay. We are going to dash all of our our goodies here. Woo! Hello! <coughs> Under lock and key. Ooh. I didn't I didn't let them all bounce up top. Oh, we got the wind charge, we got some iron, and we got some emeralds. Okay, very cool. Okay, they go inactive for 30 minutes. The, the, so the trial spawners go inactive for 30 minutes. So what let's do is we should be able to, you know, come back to this eventually. And get more, you know, breezes. That was the slime one and the zombie one. So now there was another room. There was a bit that way, but there was an actual room. No, don't want I love all the copper, copper blocks, the grates, the bulbs. They're so pretty. All right, this looks interesting. Let's eat, get ourselves up to full saturation. And then... Carefully wander our way in. Okay, I need to have these on my hotbar. <gasps> There's another key! And those, I think, are only for the ominous ones. Lots of empty chests, which is interesting. Babies, be careful. So I have two vault keys. Or trial keys. This one looks like a normal normal one. Arrows. Ooh, and an enchanted book. What book is it? Feather Falling 3. Okay. <gasps> There's the dip and some honey and a wind charge and some emeralds. Oh my goodness. That one was loaded. All right, so this is the one disc that we can get that is not from an ominous trial. So we're definitely going to have to come back and do ominous trials. But that looks like everything in that room. I was definitely expecting these to be a little bit more, like, difficult and, like, high level. But I'm definitely not mad that it's not. Just because I'm not a particularly confident person and it's nice to just be able to kind of explore a place and have a little bit of a challenge but not like a crazy amount to the point that I don't want to explore it like you know ancient cities ooh there's more back there is there a door to get to there or do I just break my way in because I don't want to break my way in don't mind if I do Mind if I grab a couple of these grates? Carefully make our way down there. I feel like we could get ourselves into some trouble real quick. That's just a breeze. Okay. The breezes aren't quite as difficult to deal with, which is nice. Hello, buddy! Ha! He's so fast, though. All right, let's get this thing. Let's get this guy. Ooh, that is that is 
some dramaticness. There we go. Oh, that was sad. What about you? Let's trade you out. Iron. Fancy arrows. Wind charge. Okay, that's not a bad one at all. We'll probably break the zombie spawner, but the slime spawner and the breeze spawners and the breeze spawners, we could turn into a pretty pretty dang cool farm. I think we have officially now made it through. This ah! <laughs> And this is where we came from. All right. That was fun. I think I can consider myself addicted. This was really, really fun. All right, now let's see if I can manage to fly straight up. Woo! All right. Well, we definitely need to hang on to the map so that I don't lose this, but that was really fun. I like it. I like that it's not like crazy difficult, but you can make it more difficult too, which we will do eventually. <gasps> there they are. Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I love you. All right. That was a fantastic adventure with a lot of, a lot of fantastic stuff. Um, I don't remember what the breeze rods are actually used for, but where do I have an ender chest in here? Come on. We need to make sure we listen to this music disc right away. Oh. It's like Christmas bells. That's an excellent disc. I like that. Oh, <laughs> That's so fun. Oh my goodness. I hadn't, I've listened to Creator and I think one other track um, from all the new stuff. And I really liked that one. Um, I do want, wait, 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 where'd it go? Where, where did, where did I put them? I do want to try out the wind charges. And I realized we didn't break any pots in in the place. So wind charges supposedly don't give you um like fall damage until you go below that original Y level. So if we fire it at the ground. Ooh! Oh nice! Oh, this is super cool. I can see these being super useful for a bunch of things, you know, whether it's mini games or other redstone-y kind of projects or fights with the mace once we get that or just a lot of things. These are, <laughs> these are really fun. So in, in my non-Minecraft games, I tend to be a little bit of a brawler, which is not what I expected when I started playing games. Um, but I'm really excited to try out, like, the wind charge and mace combo, because, like, that, that is a pretty cool combo, and I know that, um, some of that, I, I, I know the mace got, like, nerfed a little bit, I haven't really kept up on it, but I'm actually, now that I'm in the game, really curious and excited to see what that ends up being like. Now that we've done that delightful experience, let's pivot just a little bit. And I think we may go back to to the trial chamber briefly again before the end of the episode. Maybe. We'll see. 
I am honestly a little bit overwhelmed with just how much I need to do to make this world be what I want it to be to function and really feel like I can start getting into the building stuff a little more easily. But one thing that I want to do that I think will be a project that gets me excited about building, but also will start contributing and getting me excited to work on infrastructure as well. Where on earth is my tough? At the bottom of the world, probably. <sighs> Did I not keep tough? Please tell me. I kept tough. For goodness sake, D. What on earth? Ooh, there's some pillagers. Ooh, actually, we could get our first ominous potion from those guys. Almost. <gasps> there we go. And then we'll just come in and looting this guy. There we go. There's our first ominous potion bottle or potion or whatever it's called. Ooh, I didn't even know there was a little underwater cavey bit here. Oh, that's cool. The things you find when you feel a little more confident going out and exploring your world. Now, we can set an ominous banner there and everyone will know not to mess with us. We mean business. All right, I definitely want to go ahead and do some flower farms in the flower foresty parts um, because I I want I, I want those dyes. Those dyes are important to me. Look at all the bees! Is. <laughs> but I think our portal can kind of go here above the cave. And we could even do some sort of clever little uh, mechanism to get down into our storage area easily. So we're going to need to make this area as safe as possible. Like, I want my spawn area portal to be like a really safe area for, you know, if we die and end up back here. Or just need to, you know, come, come over to this area of the world. Like, I want it to be a really safe place. That we can, you know, walk out of our portal and just be surrounded by gorgeous things. And I think we will take this little bit of hill down and end up putting the portal itself right about here. And it's going to be a big one. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the at least bare bones bit of this portal in. And I'll bring you back in a moment. All right, we got the bones of this portal set up here. And now we just need to fill things out a bit. So we are going to make a giant purple tree around one side of the portal there. There is a cave like directly underneath us, which is exciting to say the least. Um, we're gonna, we're letting these oxidize, not that I <laughs> have wax to wax the copper once it is oxidized, but I want a really nicely, like, curved trunk, um, actually, that's not bad. Alright, I want that top to curve over faster. The fun part about building in vanilla, <laughs> in in absolute vanilla mode, is uh, all the flying away to look at things. Oh yeah, that's more the shape we're looking for. I think the top branch can still just come over a little bit faster and shouldn't shouldn't move upwards. It should be moving slightly downwards. Yeah, so we kind of want it to look almost like it's been windswept this direction. And we don't want just like two branches. I think we need like one more, but kind of a, maybe a smaller one. Ooh, yeah. All right, we need to shore up that branch a little bit. 
flash. Slightly change its trajectory. Hello, Mr. Wandering Trader. I hear you have... Uh -huh. Eh. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That is... Literally exactly what we want. Okay. I love it. So then the next step is to add the leaves. Okay, okay. It's not perfect yet, by any means. But I like I like the gradient we've got going on. So that's mainly what I was concerned about at this point. Oh dear. We have more of them. And we can just take them out. Take them out. They run so fast. All right, let's look at the initial leafing. And... Oof, it is not quite as defined as I was planning. It's hard when I don't have a great way to uh, really analyze it. All right, so now we just kind of sit here and carve away at things and just keep coming in back and looking and then leaving and carving things up over and over until we start feeling like start feeling like things are good. Ooh, yeah, now we're starting to get some of that windswept vibe. Let's put some leaves this little guy wedge ourselves in there I don't know I'm seeing it are you it's definitely not my best but it's a very different shape than anything I've done anytime recently I think there's a little too much texture going on in it I'm going to replace these guys with a slightly less textured concrete powder. Ooh, yeah, I do think that helps. Okay, I like this tree. I really like this tree. I'm going to put a, a single little azalea leaf there. And then we need a little bit of lighting. I wanted to do end rods, but unfortunately, I don't think we can really integrate those into the windswept vibes. But if we just sprinkle in a few lanterns. Ooh, can I? <gasps> Ooh, yes! There's an achievement for that? Of course there is. Take the purple off of this lower branch, or at least more of the purple. Yeah, that helps distinguish it from the upper branches. Let's look at it from our little tree perch. Oh, let's miss the tree perch entirely. All right, I'm thinking this is probably our tree's final form. I don't know about other builders, but for me, the process is very much one of fly back and forth, look, look at it, change one block, look at it, conclude that it's done and then look at it again and change another block and just it's it's a constant cycle but there we go honestly i love how everybody's reaction to being able to make tough blocks has been or like tough block variations has been immediately tree let's make a tree and, he, you know, mine's not the most impressive of the trees out there that have been made, but it's definitely a different style for me. Um, I've been doing a lot of that lately. A lot of, okay, let's do a tree, but in another kind of style instead. Um, and it's been fun. But yeah, considering the limited amount of resources that we have available to us, both in like, not having free cam, and also in like, you know, our world, this world barely has, yeah, anything. Um, I, I, I'm happy with that. I did intend to use end flowers in it, but I think that would have ended up too busy. This is obviously 
just the very, very beginning of what I want to do with this spawn area. Um, just getting a few of the vibes in. And I still actually want to add some things around the other side. I was going to put a gear on it to kind of like symbolize that this area tends to be like the industrial kind of area. But I think I'm going to wait for that for somewhere else. Of course, we do need to go down into the depths of the nether and link this up. I should probably have the coordinates for that. And then we light her up and head on through. There we go. And this is going to be the official center of our nether highway hub situation. I love it. This is definitely the fanciest nether portal I've ever built. Well, between a fun time exploring the trial chambers and getting a music disc and some fun other loot and also building this portal at the heart of our world, I think we had a pretty successful day today. I'm excited to see where this world goes and what we learn from it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and log off and edit this for you all to see tomorrow. <sighs> Wish me luck. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!